Cupping goes back thousands of years in its use, and it's becoming very popular again today in the health and wellness field. A lot of practitioners are taking advantage of the powerful effects of cupping. What it does is it's lifting and pulling up the tissues, bringing up the muscle tissue, separating the muscle fibers, separating the fascia that wraps around the muscles. This helps create space in the muscles so that more circulation can come to an area, so that more fluid can move through an area. Anything that's been stuck in an area where there's chronic tension, chronic congestion can be moved out of the area. With cupping, we're able to work on deep tissue issues. We're able to work on chronic pain areas. We're able to rehabilitate areas that have been injured or hurt. And we can help prepare muscles to recover from athletic use, prepare muscles and fascia to be more well adapted to go into surgery and we can help uh, recover from surgery or re rehabilitate from surgery as well. The colorations that you see from cupping are not bruising, rather it's old blood or fluid that is being brought to the surface where it can be flushed out of the system. So this is a good thing. We're not gonna leave purple marks all the way up and down the body like you see sometimes in Chinese cupping. We're moving the cups fast enough and quickly enough so that we don't do that.